Welcome back to Duskwood. This is part six of episode seven. And before we get into these puzzles, we need to change our theme. So what theme are we going to use today? We got some Featherlight, we got some Scarlet, Dune, Pendulum, Gravity, Fable, Nebel. You know what? Let's go ahead and use use a nebel. It's got some it's got some green in there. You know, it's not emerald green, but it is a t shade of green. You know, in reference to uh, uh, J Jennifer. So now let's go ahead and get into this puzzle. This is puzzle number eight, and as you see here, I have completed it twice. However, I'm telling you right now, it is not easy. Both times, I feel like I got really lucky. So the first time I beat it, it was literally, well actually both times, it was literally on the very last move that I could possibly use. And um, the first time was was calculated and I was able to, to complete it with the final move, uh, no problem. The second time I beat it, I think, um, you'll, you'll see here, with, with the, we're going to be dealing with a lot of shields. I'd say I probably had double digit shields. I don't know how many I had, maybe 12, 13 shields that I hadn't uh, broken down yet. And it was a massive domino streak effect that it, it, my last move, it just it was just domino effect after domino effect. And it, and it took out the rest of the shields. Super lucky to have won that. So without further ado, let's get right into this puzzle. You're getting ready to see it right now. Let's go up with it. Nope, did not get it. Hmm. Not many ways that we can use it. That'll that's pretty good. Knocked out a lot of shields. We're down. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't keeping track of the moves. Did not win. All right. Damn it. Shit. Shit, made so many power ups there too. Come on. I just want to win <laughs> one more time. Shit. 
Shit. All right, we're back in. We have lost to this puzzle 11 straight losses. Uh, still trying to work on getting this last puzzle completed. That way we can advance in the story. I do like that uh, power up there. That was a good power up to get. We just need to be able to figure out how we can get another one and add to it. Or should we just try to use it on this? It's not my favorite way of using that power up, but it works. I ain't never done that before. That was pretty cool looking. We might actually have a shot at this, boys and girls. We might actually, actually beat. We got to, we got to play smart. We got to, we got to do the right moves. Hold on. Let's look at, let's look this over. Let's look this over. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. We got three moves. Let's figure out how to do this with three moves. I think, uh, I think, I don't know if that's a horizontal power-up or not, but I think this is a good move right here. Okay. We got two moves left. Man. Let's go right here. Let's combine these. Oh, it wasn't the... Power up I wanted that was a vertical. I wanted a horizontal. I think that I think that's gonna spell it for us. We might not win. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nine credits for five moves. Can I beat this in five moves? There's one. I can see one, two. I can see two moves that'll get us two of the three shields. I think we can. I think we can beat this in five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the credits because after eleven straight losses, I'm I'm I, I I need to beat this. I need to beat it and get to the story. There's that first move I was telling you about. Second move is gonna deal with these purples over here. There's oh there we go. We only need one more move. We beat it with one more move. Oh my gosh! You just you have to get lucky. Plain and simple, have to get lucky. And Thomas reached out to us. Oh, it's a group chat. Okay, so now we're back into it. Can we please carry on here? Yes, I'm back already. Two. Carry on. What what were we talking about? Jake and I will continue doing everything. Oh, okay. This is this is picking up where we left off when we talked about uh 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 Jake came back. What is this? And I was never gone, kissy face. <laughs> You're trying to, the pause was long enough, Richie. Uh, th I, th th let's do the kissy phase. Like, why not? <laughs> I was never gone, kissy phase. Maybe Jesse will join us too. Jan, uh, Jan. Dan is online. So is everyone allowed to speak their own minds now? Uh, not if uh, you want to be a... Everybody already is. Everybody already is. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not one to to restrict somebody from speaking their mind. If you want to speak their mind, speak your mind. You you, you can. So Dan's case is crystal clear. He does not like Jake. I screwed up with Phil because I let uh, I left him hanging in the Aurora. What do you mean? Shortly afterwards, my car brakes suddenly suddenly fail. Okay. 
I screwed up with Phil because I left him hanging in the Aurora. My uh, shortly afterwards, my car brakes suddenly fail. Just as it, uh, just as I happen to be driving home from a date with my sister. No, don't no, Dan. That wasn't. That's not correct. Don't lie to us. You weren't on a date with your sister. You were trying to go on a date with Jesse, and she stood you up for, for the one and only tongue tied. So I don't know what you mean by your sister. That's right, the date where you were stood up. That's, that's, I, that was kind of mean to say, but that's what it was. That's not important <laughs> at all here, Dan. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> you know, if Dan's going to speak his mind, so am I. So is tongue-tied. So Cleo can add to it. When I wanted to question Phil about Hannah, he reacted very oddly. Oh, so they're starting to put a lot of blame on Phil. So they're saying that Phil did all this. Okay. Uh, he, yeah, so he reacted very oddly, ran his mouth off about Hannah, and couldn't get rid of me quick enough, which I can understand from today's point of view, which was totally odd, or don't say anything at all. Just kind of let them talk. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it's kind of odd, but if you're accusing somebody of something like that and they get offended, I mean, how else is somebody supposed to react? Uh, I'm just going to let them talk. I'm just going to let them speak their mind. I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> Dan, who said I was done talking. Keep going then, Dan. You heard right. I've got more. Okay, just spit it out then, Dan. Come on. Phil was at the hospital yesterday. Did he bring you flowers? <laughs> Did he, he bring you flowers, Dan? Was he visiting you? As if. But what was Phil doing at the hospital? Okay, Dan doesn't have any. He didn't, nothing good. That, so he didn't come visit Dan, apparently. He asked one of the nurses about me. Okay. And did the nurse tell him anything about you? No. That was good of the nurse. But instead of going to see Dan, he's sitting there asking about him. So you're hiding from a wire? No, see, I, I, that's not the questions I want to ask. <laughs> so, so why are you telling us now? That, that's a good, that's a better question. I wanted to wait and see what would happen. Okay, now Lily's got something to say. Did you think Phil was there to hurt you? He wasn't about to give some uh, damn homemade cookies. <laughs> hey, Jesse. So it's gotten to the point where we are putting a lot of blame on Phil, and Jesse just joined the chat. I've just been to the police. And they know pretty much everything. About what? About Lily's video that we got involved, that we're hiding evidence, uh, that a wanted hacker is among us. And they know about you, Tongue Tide. What, uh, what do they know exactly? It can only mean trouble for Jake. How do they know all... Of, yeah, how do they all know all of this all, all of a sudden? Jesse doesn't know. Unless they're tampering and hacking into our conversations. Maybe they're just as incompetent as we've been making them out. To, or maybe they're not as incompetent as we're making them out to be. Who would have, who uh, who told you that, Jesse? Who did you speak to? The police chief. Alan Bloomgate, the police chief. So what does this mean? Are the police investigating us? I don't think so. For obstruction of justice. He didn't say that. I don't think they'd be investigating us because obviously we're sitting here trying to figure it out too. And and ultimately, I mean, if we, for real, if we would have brought the idea of the Duskwood legend being part of the reason why Jennifer and Hannah were killed, like the police wouldn't give us two seconds. They wouldn't give us two seconds to even plead that case. It would just be a, you know, they would think it was a wild goose chase. It just, you know, it just, it just wouldn't be. It wouldn't happen. 
I mean, we only wanted to help, right? At least that's what I can say about myself and Jake. The police must know that by now. Maybe it's time to start leaving this all to the real investigators. No, Richie. We're doing more work than they are. We're, 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 we're getting closer to this than they are. We've done so much. No, we're not doing that. These real investigators arrested him. According to them, he's guilty. And what if he uh, really is guilty? I sh uh, I'm sure they didn't arrest him for no reason, Jesse. So they are the, these these uh, investigators. The police chief, I mean, Allen. They they arrested Phil, thinking that Phil was behind all of this. Very interesting. And that reason has nothing to do with him being guilty of anything. What do you mean? I know one of you testified against Phil. The police chief told me. Whoa! So somebody went to the police and said shit to 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 the police about Phil. Wow, who would, uh, who in the world would do that? He didn't tell me. Okay. He told you that somebody did, but he didn't. I mean, that could be misleading too. Who knows? Who knows? Um, wow. What, what did that person say exactly? He's only saying that to divide our group. It wasn't me. Side eyes. So what, what did they say exactly? I don't know that either. Hmm. I don't want to argue with you guys. I really don't. So maybe they went and visited Dan in the hospital, and maybe Dan told him. But you have to understand that I have, uh, I have to know who told the police stuff about Phil. We all do. We all want to know who told the police. Was it you, Cleo? Huh? Pipe up. Was it you? Yeah, you. Wasn't me. Then who? <laughs> you wanted to break into Phil's basement. Why? Did you want to frame him? You can't be serious right now. You had nothing going against Phil. I don't understand. Because he said something stupid about Hannah, so what? And because there was matchbox from war by the dead body. True, I remember that. Everyone in Duskwood has one of those. And because Phil called Hannah the same day she disappeared. That's true. It was on it was on uh <laughs> Thomas that snitch is right. <laughs> It is true. It is true. Thomas, you damn snitch. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. I didn't talk about Phil as a suspect. Only for a short while because only, uh, but, but only because of Cleo and Thomas. Hmm. I mean, we were talking with Cleo and Thomas about it, but only for a short while. Oh, I don't like any of these answers. It wasn't like we were trying to suspect Phil. We were just trying to figure out why he was arrested. But you know what? Thomas snitched on me. I'm going to snitch on them. Screw it. <laughs> you want to start pointing fingers, Thomas? Because I don't believe that Phil kidnapped Hannah. You were only just attacked then. We were afraid that you wouldn't be objective. Why are you asking me of all people? So, yeah, I mean, we were afraid that Jesse wasn't going to be objective. However, I do not think that Phil kidnapped Hannah or did anything to Jesse or uh, uh, Jennifer. Jesse, it was me who got that whole thing going. It was me who should you, you should be angry, angry with. Oh, damn, Richie. Uh, oh, and Jesse is pissed. She's offline. Thanks, Thomas. Great. 
just great. What are we going to do now? Was Dan even finished saying what he wanted to say? <laughs> it's all going swimmingly. Swimmingly. You can just put your feet up now and wait until Phil confesses and tells them where Hannah is. I don't think it was Phil. There's no way I'm doing that. I'm not just kick back and relax. Even if Phil is guilty, just hoping for that is, is, is far too risky. Well, I won't, I won't be saying anything more on that matter. You said enough on this matter, neither will I. I just hope that Jesse will calm down again. Right. Someday. <laughs> I, I still don't think it's Phil. I mean, they're, they're pushing really hard to make it seem like it was Phil, and I just don't think it is. Richie. Please don't be angry at him, Jesse. We didn't do it because we were against or because we were were against you or Phil. Please come back online and talk to me. It was you, wasn't it? Was it Richie the whole time? You gave evidence against Phil with the police. Okay, so it wasn't Richie. You said you were the one who got everything started. Yes, but not like that. Not like that. When I was marked. Before that, I was texting Phil, and he said something weird. And that's why you thought he made the sign. Maybe. Maybe a bit. But I didn't give evidence against him. Hmm. Jesse does not believe Richie. He doesn't feel that way anymore. So Richie's trying to say, like, you know, Jesse, you know me. Like, this isn't, I don't know. It doesn't feel that way anymore. Jesse quit. What? What do you mean you quit? Jesse, I'm grabbing my stuff from the, f oh, she's quitting work. Oh, I thought maybe she was quitting to look for, Hannah and Jennifer, but she's quitting work. I'm grabbing my stuff from the shop first thing tomorrow morning. Wow, she just quit working for Richie. That is intense. So they are pushing hard against Phil, making making Phil look like he is the the you know the one behind everything. And I just don't see. It. I I don't think it. I don't think that that it's Phil. Yes, he is super sus. I just don't think it's Phil. I don't think it's Phil, but we're going to find out soon, soon. We have a couple more puzzles, a couple more videos to make. Again, just to give you guys a reminder, for the finale, I'm going to make it a two-part finale for a live stream finale. So when we get down to it, the very last part of Episode 7, Episode 7 finale, is going to be live streamed. We are going to be working on puzzle number 9 in the next video. Hope you guys are enjoying Duskwood, especially episode 7. If you are, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.